everybody. Check it out. It's Greg here. I'm about 40 minutes in on M101. Things are looking pretty good. Tracking is uh, really okay. Got to focus clicks in there. There you go. It's about one arc second or so. And after 40 minutes or so, M101, the Pinwheel Galaxy, is looking pretty good. So at that point, what's the problem? Well, the dreaded Meridian Flip. Check it out. All right, the red light I featured in my red light video is really coming in handy here to make these YouTube videos for you guys. Here is the deal with the Meridian Flip. If I do nothing in about 15, 20 minutes, maybe half hour at the most, the camera assembly will bash into the tripod and that's not good for the telescope, the camera, the tripod, or the gears. And what you have to do is uh, basically a meridian flip. Once the object passes the meridian from the telescope's point of view, it has to flip over 180 degrees in the other direction and continue on. Um, Frankly, I've never done a Meridian flip before, so I have no idea how this is going to go. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens. But yeah, so for anybody wanting to know what a Meridian flip is or why it's necessary, here it is right here. All right, so I'm getting perilously close to hitting the mount. The ASI Air has not uh, started the automatic Meridian flip. I don't really see an option there to do a Meridian flip. So I'm just going to go to M101 again and see if it flips over on the other side. And that's going to be my um, my intermediate measure for dealing with the Meridian flip. In this instance, um, eventually I'm sure I will get it sorted out so it will automatically uh, engage the Meridian flip when things get um, close enough. Um, actually, I've never really run into this before, so I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, if you guys know, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Um, believe it or not, even though I have a YouTube channel, I'm fairly new at guiding. So there you go. All right, like I said, my intermediate measure for dealing with the Meridian Flip is just to go to M101 again. And the easiest way to do that is to just hit the go button right here, which is what I'm going to do. All right, the scope is flipping around. It's going to do the poor man's solution of the Meridian Flip. If it doesn't do it automatically, you just um, have the telescope go to the same object yet again when you think you've uh, flipped the Meridian. And you're going to see that the scope is now going to flip over and you are not going to have any fear of crashing into the mount. Everything's going to be all good to go here. So I actually would have preferred that this is what happened the first time I went to M101. Because now let's go over here and take a closer look. Yeah, you can see the equipment is really nowhere near crashing into the mount. And the counterweight, yeah, nothing is going to be crashing into the mount. The whole rig is going to be moving from the right to the left as you're looking at it in the screen here. All right, so here we are. We're back imaging everything after the flip. The uh, image is uh, 180 degrees off from what it was earlier before I did the Meridian flip. Tracking is still right around one arc second, so that's good. But in any event, that's a little bit about what the Meridian Flip is and how I dealt with it tonight. Clear skies, everyone. Meridian Flip, 